<laughs> We're just gonna wing it. Whatever looks like enough soup. It brings a wow. On guys welcome to the video so today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different but also should be a lot of fun it's not nachos <laughs> so in this video i am going to be trying five different breakfasts breakfasts is that is that plural for breakfasts breakfasts i will be trying five different breakfasts from five different countries and i figured that i would do breakfast because let's just be honest breakfast is like the best meal of the day and i actually asked you guys on instagram to help me pick those five countries because i wanted to know what you guys thought was the country that has the best breakfast. And I wanted to do this because one, I thought it would be hella fun and delicious. And two, I really wanted to expand my culinary palette. And I just really wanna try some new and different types of food. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this video was because I really wanted to see if anything could possibly beat out my favorite cake pop protein oatmeal, which basically tastes like cake batter with some toppings. So there's some really stiff competition and I have my doubts that anything can beat it, but I just wanna see. And this video is actually really inspired by Johnny Harris, who has an incredible YouTube channel. He did a video where he was trying to revive his love for breakfast and it was it looked really fun. So I wanted to do something similar. So I'll link his video down below. And please keep in mind that I'm gonna be attempting to make all of these myself and I am by no means the best cook by any stretch of the imagination. We're just gonna wing it. Drop it. There might be some improvisation. Can I place an order for pickup? Why didn't it work? I don't know. <laughs> but it should be really fun and really delicious. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Making money like a mint. Laying in my ice like shrimp. Making it that I'm in. Coming with the freshness. Welcome to day one of cooking breakfast every day with Stephanie, Chef Steph. We are going to be doing Thailand today. I really wanted to do Thailand because I am half Thai. Can you say hi to YouTube? Hi YouTube. And I never really knew what Thai people ate for breakfast. Like my mom always just ate whatever. She just ate leftovers from the night before. So when I did some research, I found that there was very few dishes that are actually breakfast like delegated just for breakfast. And the most popular one was something called khao tom. And I'm particularly doing khao tom gung. Yeah, can you say it too? Khao tom gung. Which is shrimp khao tom. So let's get started. Cilantro, some fried garlic. You have to top it with some of this. Oh, Sawadika! Good, look delicious. Look delicious? Excellent, excellent. Thank you, mommy. Lagonka. Lagonka. Okay, I'm really excited to try it. It looks really delicious. It smells really good. There's rice in broth with shrimp, onions, garlic, lots of good stuff. It's topped with cilantro and green onions. Get some broth. Mmm, that's so good. Nice. It has a light flavor. I feel like it could use chili, like my mom said. I could see why they would eat this for breakfast because it's really light and it's delicious. Very good. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you, Thailand. Mm -hmm. So I think this is good. It's very like comfort foody, warm and delicious. I can see this being so good in like the winter time and it's very savory, very good flavor. I think it's really good. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. It's not mind blowing. It's kind of a light, easy on the stomach soup with carbs and protein and it feels warm and good. But my oatmeal still wins. <laughs> so today of our travel expedition, we're gonna go visit the neighboring lake. I wonder what kind of wild animal this is. Looks like a stingray. Okay guys, so that's it for beautiful Thailand. Tomorrow, we are off to France. Oh, that looks delicious. 
delicious. Mmm. Wow. It's like buttery and flaky and it's like the best version of, of a croissant I think I've ever had. Whoa. Welcome everybody to breakfast in France. And I was a little hungry so I already tried the croissant and it was so good. It's delicious. It's still warm so amazing. I'm so excited to eat the rest of this. From my research, and I apologize if I'm not completely correct, but a typical breakfast in France is usually just a pastry croissant with coffee. Sometimes just cereal, yogurt, and fruit. But everything looks so delicious. I did not make these myself, although I tried. Can I place an order for pickup? But no, I did not make these myself. We did pick these up from a French bakery uh, here in Jacksonville, and the bread I didn't make either. <laughs> but I did put it in the oven to toast it, so that counts for something. I did take the granola out of a box and pour it in a bowl, and I did cut the fruit myself. Mm. So there's that. We have some orange juice, some Perrier, our espresso and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started even though i already did <laughs> i really want to try the chocolate one. Mm. Ooh, it is still warm though there's a reason why croissants are as popular as they are whoa nice guess i go ahead and take a bite see how it is wow that's so good with the chocolate wow that's incredible oh i think you're gonna like this i'm excited is it better than the original? Mm hmm Yeah. I heated the eclair up. You can see it looks like it's been boiled. I heated it up because I thought I was supposed to, but I don't think I was. <laughs> if I ruined it, I'm so sorry. People, please don't come for me. Mmm! It's filled. Hmm. I think I knew that. Can I see? I forgot. Wow, there's like a custard on the inside. It's delicious. I think I knew it was filled, but I completely forgot. And the outside is almost like a cookie, but pastry. It's really good, and then the, obviously, you know, doused in sugar, so it's gonna taste good. <laughs> so that's really good. Okay, so I have chocolate on my mouth from that. <laughs> it's still, Is it better? Uh, it's right here. I'm making such a mess. Flaky things. <laughs> Messy. So I have two beignets. One is mixed berry, one is chocolate hazelnut. So they look like little donuts, to be honest with you. They're filled, which is always a positive. Hmm. It's just like a donut. This is my this is my comfort zone, okay? <laughs> this is where I'm comfortable. This tastes exactly, this is delicious. It's super soft and like fluffy. That's delicious. Mm. So this one's not filled enough for me. I have very high standards, oh, yeah. but still good. The jam on the inside is good. Mmm, I should I try first? Yeah, you croissant. seem to like the chocolate croissant. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Good, right? Mm. Yeah. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Like, that looks so bizarre. <laughs> it's not nachos. <laughs> All right, so that was delicious. I feel like it was more of like a dessert. So it doesn't really help me anabolically. It doesn't help with the gains because there's no protein in this. I give this an eight out of 10. Mm, that's solid. Final answer. Loses one point for protein. Yep. And one point for being too desserty. Yep, but it was delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really good. Where are we going tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are going to Mexico. Oh. Adios. <laughs> Day three, today we are going to be doing Mexico. The most popular breakfast dishes from my research that Mexico has to offer are dishes that I'm gonna be very honest with you. I, I, I just can't make them. I'm just gonna be honest. I just don't think I can cook them. So I'd like to go to an authentic restaurant and have the best version of these dishes possible. So I will see you at the restaurant. Oh, they're hiring. Okay, we're here. So no, we obviously didn't get food from Taco Bell. A very good restaurant, actually two restaurants. My inability to cook is doubling as supporting local restaurants right now. <laughs> and I'm excited, I'm hungry. Me you too. hungry? Yeah. All right. So not only does this absolutely look amazing, it smells incredible, like wow. I feel really excited. I've never tried anything like this, except for the tacos. The tacos are gonna be the only thing that I've ever had before. The most popular breakfast dish that I discovered in my research was something called 
Okay, okay, so you guys have editing Stephanie here and I wanna stop myself right now before I butcher the pronunciation of this dish. So the dish is called chilaquiles. I say it wrong in the video, please don't be mad at me. The part that frustrates me the most is that I actually looked up how to pronounce it in so many different YouTube videos, listened to it over and over again, and then I actually practiced how to say it, and I still said it wrong in the video, so please don't come for me because I'm dumb. The proper pronunciation of this dish is chilaquiles. Okay, goodbye something called chiquiles. They will typically top it with a red sauce that makes the corn tortillas that they cut up kind of soft. And then they top it with shredded chicken. And this one actually was topped with eggs. It came with eggs. I also have huevos rancheros. And it's two eggs topped with salsa. And it's usually comes with tortilla. And then tamales. I got two, one for Jeff and I both to try. But I had to get tacos too because tacos seem to be a staple no matter what time of day it is. One is the, the restaurant calls is the gringo version, which is what I got for Jeff. No offense, Jeff. <laughs> so yeah, the corn tortilla that is fried gets very soft from the sauce. That's delicious. It's so good. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like nachos. Mm. Okay, I love that. It's so good. Wow. It's super delicious. I actually like the egg on it too. Now the huevos rancheros is here. So there's refried beans underneath here and then the egg. Can I eat this with my hands? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I would say yes. Mmm, totally different. Mmm, that's really good. This one tastes the most like breakfast to me. Mmm, this is a tamale. Yum. And then it's filled on the inside. Hmm, that's interesting. It's almost like a cake, but with like a chipotle type sauce with meat on the inside. And then I'm gonna take a quick bite of my taco because I know Jeff is getting hungry too. Hmm, <laughs> it's a good taco. Still delicious. Wow, first of all, delicious. I expected just as much because Mexican food is delicious. I would give this another eight out of 10. Realistically, would I have this in the morning regularly? It's more like a special occasion type thing to have. In the morning, I also think of like having coffee, but things with like spice, I don't really see going well with coffee. So you guys will have to let me know, like do you typically drink coffee with this? Eight out of 10, solid. We're going sightseeing today. We're going to visit an avocado farm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I actually have an avocado tree, which is like the best thing ever. This is a travel vlog, okay? <laughs> Tomorrow, we are going to England. See you there. See you there. So it seems that I've been rather foolish for some time Trying to chase a lot of the dreams you left behind Told me go on a sea with him, my major in the end. You never know until you've seen it on fire. All right, guys, welcome to day four. So today we have a full English breakfast. A lot of these things look really familiar to me, so that's actually really comforting. I couldn't do everything exactly right, but I wanted to do everything to the best of my ability, so it looks delicious. And then I also have like legit British tea. I'm really hungry, so let's go ahead and get started. A typical English breakfast usually consists of eggs, bacon, sausage, baked beans, tomatoes, mushrooms, and often black pudding, as well as a cup of tea. Okay. Putting beans on the toast. Let's see how that goes. Mm. That's good. That's surprisingly really good on toast. I think you'll be surprised. I actually really enjoyed that. Even though a lot of it was very familiar to me, I've never had baked beans with breakfast except for one time I was in Newfoundland. But I really enjoyed it with the eggs and then the tomatoes and the mushrooms. I really, really enjoyed that. I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. A lot of ties, a lot of eight out of tens because to break into the nine out of 10, it has to like really blow me away. This is like 
what I would consider like a good hearty breakfast. Yes. Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. Where are we going tomorrow? Yeah, good question. Where are we going tomorrow? We're going somewhere very far away. I will see you tomorrow in Japan. Prada Bay, run away, don't go I'm in hell, might as well just go Losing track, don't take my soul I'm in first, you too late, you slow So this could go either really well or really horribly I'm going to attempt to poach an egg <laughs> If you guys know how to poach an egg, I commend you because I've never even tried before So apparently you stir it and then the middle of like the whirlpool that you make you have to drop the egg mm. and it cooks for like shit, how long <laughs> this is happening with or without you drop it oh no Ooh, here we go day five are you guys sick of me yet oh my goodness you guys have been spending so much time with me today is day five and today we have japan and i am i'm gonna be honest this is one that i'm probably the most excited about because it looks delicious it was actually pretty easy to make except for the egg why didn't it work i don't know <laughs> The egg was hard. In Japan, they traditionally eat a raw egg. I don't really feel comfortable doing that in the United States. Nori, uh, sticky rice, and then we have grilled salmon, miso soup, side of ginger, and some soy sauce. I guess I'll dump the whole egg in here. Mm -hmm. And then some ginger for sure. So I'm gonna take that in a bite. Oh, Ooh, nice. So a little bit of egg, a little bit of nori. I wanna get it all in one bite. I bet Japanese people are like, nope, that's not it. This is a big bite. That's really good. Mm hmm That's delicious. Mmm. -hmm. So yummy. Told my brothers when day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember? I thought that was absolutely delicious. Of everything I had this week, I honestly think that was one of my favorites. I really, really liked, like of all the savory food for sure, that was definitely my favorite. It was delicious, but also felt good in your belly. Like it was like just the right amount of food and just the right contents of food that make you feel good and like not too sleepy, not too like rich of flavors, but like just enough flavor. I thought it was amazing. So for this meal, I would give it an 8.5. That leaves me to my conclusion. What I learned this week was that I really enjoy eating different types of foods. I thought it was a really nice break from eating the same thing that I eat all the time. I really enjoyed everything I ate. Quick disclaimer, because I don't wanna like disappoint my like Thai following. I adore Thai food. I think Thai cuisine is by far my favorite. However, I don't think that Thai dish is my favorite. I like chili paste and curry and like Thai basil. Like I like really flavorful dishes and that one, I could see why it's a breakfast dish. It's very light. So I quickly wanted to say that. So no shade to Thai people, no shade to Thai cuisine. I loved the French cuisine. I, I love sweets. The pastries are delicious. I don't think I could eat that every day though. And the Mexican, super rich and flavorful. Don't think I could eat it every day. I could see myself having this all the time. And I really enjoyed the English breakfast, but I don't see myself eating that every day either. It seems like something you'd have on like a Sunday morning. Overarching theme is that I thought everything was delicious. I enjoyed trying new food, but nothing beats my cake pop protein oatmeal, sadly. I tried trying new things, but I still love what I eat every day and I think that I'll still continue to have it most days, but sometimes maybe if I want something different, I'll recreate one of these dishes or I'll try other countries that I didn't try this week. And I know I didn't do everything perfect. It's impossible for me to do things authentically because I live in Florida. My resources are extremely limited on what I could do. And obviously my culinary skills could use some work. I tried my best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it. If you gave it a like, that lets me know that you enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like me to do something similar I could do lunch or dinner of different countries I know we're all aching to travel right now when we can't so that is gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you happen to be new and I will see you in a video very soon I love you guys Bye.